Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is May 18th, 2021. This is my third episode about QT6 and 3D graphics with Vulkan. In this episode, we will learn how to use QT with Visual Studio 2019. We will create Hello QT console application. Of course, we will create GUI or GUI application in your future. I assume you have watched my previous videos listed here, especially episode 1, QT6 on Windows, episode 2, install Vulkan SDK on Windows. If you haven't watched my previous videos listed here, please watch them. Otherwise, you cannot follow my current and future sessions. First off, you should have installed latest version of Visual Studio. I've installed Microsoft Visual Studio Community Edition 2019 Preview version 16.10. If you haven't installed or updated latest version of Visual Studio, go to Help, check for Update. Then Visual Studio Installer will be started. If there is something to update, then you have to update. You should see Visual Studio is up to date. Otherwise, please update your Visual Studio installation. Now close it. As I previously mentioned, you should have installed latest version of Qt Toolkit on Windows. Qt version 5 does not work. If you haven't installed Qt 6, please double click this link. By watching episode 1, Setup Qt 6 on Windows, please install latest version of Qt. Now start File Explorer. Select or create a working folder for our future sessions. I will create Qt Vulkan. Right click, pin to quick access. This is our future working folder. Now start Visual Studio Code. Go to Tools, Options, Project and the Solution, Location, paste it here. This will be our future working folder. Click OK. Now go to Extensions, Manage Extensions. Select online, search, Qt, you should see Qt Visual Studio Tools, download. Now close, close Visual Studio. Then BSI 6 installer will be started. Modify. You should see modification completed. Close. Now start Visual Studio once again. It will take some time. Go to View, Output. Say, these Qt versions are inaccessible. MSBC 2019-64, this is wrong folder. I will pin up like this. Go to extensions, Qt VS tool, option, select Version. This does not work. Click this 
pull the button system qt 6.1 select msbc 201964 bin qmake click open select default click ok it seems it worked correctly let's start again start visual studio once again now it worked correctly without error message go to file new project qt we can select any of these templates but for the starter we will select qt console application next project name qt hello solution name 003 qt hello click create click next we have to delete this is our default solution click finish we will include q debug h here q debug hello qt 6 fix your code like this now control f5 it does not work no if you scroll up inline variable requires at least visual studio 2017 in the solution explorer right click properties C++ language standard it should be 17 watt 20 I will select C++ 20 standard apply if you haven't installed latest version of Visual Studio you will not have this option in such case you have to select C++ 17 standard but I prefer C++ 20 standard apply ok now press Ctrl F5 hello Qt6 so this message should be displayed properly now close it we will use C++ 20 standard Qt and the Vulkan in future sessions I created easy word all by myself using Microsoft MFC and the .NET framework a government initiative to combat unemployment she did it on her own initiative it supports text-to-speech technology also it can play multimedia also it supports speech recognition it is a complete application supporting international languages we can also change the user interface now our user interface has more ribbons I created all this application using Microsoft technologies but in near future 
we will create complete solution using Qt with such ribbon interface. 